So one of the first things I wanted to do is kind of liven up the bathroom just a little bit. This is the master bathroom upstairs. And to do that, first I replaced the shower curtain that he had because it was an ugly brown color. And then I also got this shower caddy that you could see is sitting on a seat. This is a very small shower stall. It's just under four feet wide. And the seat's kind of in the way. I prefer to just replace the whole thing. But right now, budget doesn't allow that. So in the meantime, I wanted to get a shower caddy to have somewhere to put all of my stuff. So this video is gonna kind of walk you through the shower caddy that I got on Amazon, which will be linked below. And if you have any questions, just let me know. I love this shower caddy. I already got one for our downstairs master bathroom. I just have to get it installed. This is the all zone shower caddy that I ordered on Amazon. It was shipped in this box. The instruction manual is pretty self-explanatory. Um, as always with this kind of stuff, it's just picture diagrams of how to assemble it. You can see here, Depending on the height where you're going to be putting the rod, you can use one, two, or three extension rods that it comes with. And then the final setup. So it comes with three of these extension bars. I only used one because the height in the place I put it was a lot shorter. These are the little rubber thingies that you use to hold the shelves in place. This one, along with this little ring here, was for the towel bar. I did not use the towel bar since it has little bars on the shelves, as you can see right here. I have to admit that in the beginning, it was a bit of a challenge for me to get it put up. I originally started out using two of the extension rods in the pole, but that wound up being way too much for this short area, so I took one out. However, with just one extension rod and the pole, I thought I was going to have to take the other extension rod out because I was still having complications getting it to fit here. Then it occurred to me the pole shortens. So if you decide to put this shower caddy on a corner seat in a shower stall, one extension rod with the pole lowered all the way is perfect. Overall, I am really pleased with the shower caddy. It is small, low profile, so the shelves do not stick out too far. They're not huge shelves, which is perfect since this shower caddy is actually resting on the seat that's in this small shower stall. So it's kind of tidied everything up, put everything where I can easily assess it and get it off of the seat where I originally had everything. Here are the end caps that you can see that press against the ceiling. There's one down here. They're convenient. They don't screw on or anything. You just slide those into place and you're good to go. So hopefully this video will help somebody out there who is trying to debate whether or not to put a shower caddy on a seat, a corner seat in a small shower stall. And if you would like to see my future videos that might be helpful, or if you just want to follow along with my crazy adventures and trying to do things around this new house, then make sure you subscribe below and thank you for watching.